Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm on the promenade here, just by Waterloo Road behind me. If you saw my video on Waterloo Road, the length of Waterloo Road at night, then I'm kind of starting this video from where I left that one off. Uh, so what I want to do in this video is I want to show you a little bit of the action here. It's very, very busy. It's a Saturday night in Blackpool. We've got the illuminations, of course. We've got loads of traffic. It's absolutely chocker here on the promenade i can see emergency vehicle lights up there i can hear sirens it's all going on here in blackpool at the moment but what i want to do in this video i want to take you one street further back and we'll have a look around the back it's a bit of a different story around the back of the promenade yeah we've got closed up shops we've got the yates's um pub the old yates's pub which has been shut down we'll have a little look around there shall we um like i said different story not been around the Bond Street and Bond Street as well. We've got Bond Street just down the back of here, which is a little bit apocalyptic, folks. So we'll take a little look at that, shall we? It's a bit of a different story to here on the promenade. Oh, it's absolute madness around here, folks. Just look at all this. We've got the Dutton Arms over there. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's really, really busy. Yeah, loads of coaches. Yeah, this is what it's like at the Illuminations, folks, if you're coming at a weekend, especially on a Saturday. Yeah, this is what you can expect. You can expect uh, to be pretty busy and you're not going to move very fast, but it will give you a good chance to, plenty of time to sit, to take in the Illuminations. And I think this is probably one of the best spots on the promenade to see the Illuminations, because you get that cracking view of the tower. Look, can you see the tower up there? And these Illuminations, spend a bit more money on these ones. Uh, by the way, just over the road, there's uh, some steel work there for a hotel, an easy hotel. It's been like that for years. They're finally going to be building it, I've heard, you know. So it won't be too long, hopefully, before that easy hotel goes up just over there, yeah? How about that, eh? But what I'm going to do is we'll head down here. I'll try and battle my way through this illuminations traffic. We'll head down the back of the Yates's. I'm not sure what the faith of Yates's is. And by the way, Yates's used to be the Lion. It used to be the Lion Hotel. It wasn't purpose built for Yates's. It was called the Lion. We're just coming up to it now. Let's see if I can get across it. Oof. It's, uh, I do have my bike with me, so I can hop on the bike. But this is called Britannia Place, this road. There's the Yates's there. It's all in darkness. What a shame, eh? And we'll have a little look round the back, shall we? It's not going to be quite as atmospheric, quite as uh, an atmosphere around the back, I can tell you that much, but uh, yeah, look at that. I love the art deck, aren't they? Oh, I tell you what, there's loads of people. I'm walking into a big crowd of people here, folks. It's like as if, you know, when, you, when a concert kicks out or a football match, it's like, it's a bit like that. You're walking into people, you're walking against them. But I'm going to head down this road, it's called Shaw Road, and we've got Mother Hubbard. There you are, Mother Hubbard. Loads of people outside. It's not a bad day either, it's actually quite warm. We've got a bit of a heat wave coming back to Blackpool, but we're just going to head down the back now. And this road down here is called Bolton Street. So this road that comes across here is called Bolton Street, folks. It goes, it's kind of like a back alley to the promenade. So you see a cracking view of the tower down that way. But I'm going to head this way. When I can get past. So there's the back of the eights is there. Not much to see there, I'm afraid. They've put fencing all the way around, by the way. We're just going past a pub now called the... Uh, the Sun. That's the Sun Inn. The Sun Inn. This is Bolton Street. And Bolton Street leads on to Bond Street, which is, yeah, a bit of a, quite a lot of these shops, by the way, here. Well, there used to be shops in the olden days. They've been turned into flats, yeah. Yeah. So we're just coming up to the, to the junction with Waterloo Road here. We'll head across here. 
and here we are now we're now on to Bond Street and look at this straight away the devastation we've got the heart store now that's owned by Howard Plant and it's he's been trying to turn it into a car park ever since he's had it and the council won't let him so yeah it's a bit of a sorry tale along here folks lots of boarded up shops that's all boarded up that place there uh, there is some good places here eye collectibles that's really good yeah um, it's a while since I've been down here so I thought I'd just show you around and we'll, we'll have a look that used to be like a shopping arcade that now it's called Mrs Johnson's Emporium it's a very grand building that by the way look at that I remember when that was like a you know an arcade with lots of different kind of shops in it and stuff yeah. we're just about to cross Rawcliffe Street in fact I just want to show you something there's a lot of honking of cars there's a building up here it says Cooks and Buildings up there on the corner you see that there 1880 is it 1888 Subaru Subaru there we've got the pub the last resort I can hear some very very bad singing and going on in there Hey, I tell you what, it seems like a bit of an atmosphere in there. That's the old Bond Street fabric store there, the old Bond Street fabrics, yeah. And just over here, if you're interested in a plot of land, check out Stephen Chu Estate Agents because this <laughs> this bomb site over here is for sale. Yes, it's for sale here on Bond Street. That'll carry on. It is pretty quiet down here, apart from in that pub. That's like an old cinema that there, look. You know that building there? Like an old cinema, yeah. Just over here we've got Jade Delight. It's supposed to be one of the best Chinese in Blackpool, that one, you know. Jade Delight, yeah. But let's just have a look over here. I want to show you something. Look at this, look at this here, look. Oh, the Cottingley Fairy. It's got weeds growing out of it look at it oh my goodness what's all this about folks does anybody remember the shop along here that you put 10 or not maybe not 10p and 2p in it and nessie would come out nessie you put a little they had like a little slot in the window and nessie would come out yeah but this is how it looks at the moment folks shall show bargains well don't seem to be many bargains going on around here at the moment it's like a an entrance to a flat there but not the most inviting uh, place for a flat. This is a an old bank on the corner. Was it Royal Bank of Scotland? See, this is for sale now, isn't it? All the old banks. Over the road, we've got Bond Street Chippy. I don't even know if this place is open, you know. Is the Bond Street Chippy still open? It wasn't open last time. Ah, oh, man. What's happened to the Bond Street Chippy? Don't tell me it's, uh, it's all shut up. Anyway. This junction now is called Dean Street and just over there we've got a convenience store. We've got another Chinese up here. Is it the Golden Palace? So this is how Bond Street looks. Look at all these cars parking on the pavement. That can't be right, can it? Look at this. Wow, get away with murder here in Blackpool, don't they? The Golden Palace. So this is how it looks on Bond Street, folks. Not the best, is it? This is the junction with Station Road, and that's pretty much where the, the main part of Bond Street comes through, and then the shopping part. Uh, I will show you just up there, but they do have Bentley's Fish and Chips up there, which is probably one of the better chippies in a Blackpool. Check out Bentley's. Uh, there you go. That was a little look at Bond Street for you. So that was a quick look at Bond Street for you there. It's been a little while since I've been down there. Anyway, uh, what do you think? Is it, uh, is it on the comeback? Will it ever get back to how it used to be? Back when I was growing up, it was uh, really, really busy, very popular. We were always on Bond Street, Melody House, all that, yeah? I forgot to mention Melody House. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.